one, and the main point is for kids to come to an event and have fun. Tonight, we're hearing from one of the drag queens who was set to perform at this weekend's Drag Queen Storytime before it was postponed. Citing security concerns, SLCC will no longer be hosting that event. It's organized by UL's Delta Lambda Phi fraternity and the Lafayette Public Library, but was moved to SLCC last week because organizers were expecting a large crowd. But in a statement today, SLCC acknowledged security concerns, including information provided to the college by Lafayette Police. That included individual and organized plans to protest on a large scale. So the question tonight, what's next? Three's on the street, Danielle Garcia, live at the public library. Danielle, what did you find out? According to the library, Drag Queen Storytime is not being permanently canceled. They're calling this a temporary setback. And so is one of the drag queens who is set to perform on Saturday. My stage name is Santana Pilar Andrews. But when not in drag, his name is Dylan Pontiff. As a singer can sing and a dancer can dance, and I can use that art form to also help kids deal with the things that I dealt with when I was younger. You know, I was bullied at a very young age for being an effeminate man. And I think allowing me to use the art of drag to help kids understand that inclusiveness and passion and empathy is super important in not only accepting themselves, but accepting the people around them. We believe in a freedom of speech, and that's what this is. It's Since the Drag Queen story time was announced, Pontiff and others have received support, but also backlash, negative comments on social media, and the most recent council meeting on the subject, where a majority in attendance spoke against the event. A library ought to be a place of all places in our city and parish that is neutral. The opposition hasn't gone unnoticed. Oh, I mean I, that I'm a pedophile, I'm a pervert, I've been called it, I've been called disgusting, um, just to name a few. How has that been to hear all of that from people in the community? Um, disappointing, hurtful. Um, not shocking. However, despite the threats and controversy surrounding the event, Pontiff says the Storytime program is meant to be a positive experience for kids. Number one and the main point is for kids to come to an event and have fun, but also allowing them to look at each other and understand that the world is different from what they have been subjected to in their short amount of time of living. This could be anything that involves someone being different, race, um, religion, um, disability. It could be any of that, understanding that those don't all fall into someone's idea of normal, but that doesn't mean that it's a negative thing. Members of the fraternity tell me they're hoping to do something for the people who plan to come on Saturday, but they don't know exactly what that will be just yet. I also reached out to UL to see if the university had any plans to offer a venue. A spokesman said no. Three's on the street, live in Lafayette, Danielle Garcia, KTC TV3. Happening.